So some of you might be thinking about moving to Vermont, but you aren't quite sure if it's right for you. I'm here to show you what's good and what's great about living in Vermont, so stick around if that's something you're interested in learning. What's up everybody, this is Jacob Barnes with EXP Realty in Vermont. If this is your first time in this channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to live right here in Vermont, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Also, I'm working with buyers and sellers all over Vermont, so if you're looking at moving anywhere in Vermont, make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I'd love to work with you. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, Vermont has really low crime rates and has been rated the number one safest state to live in. This is likely due to the fact that Vermont has the third highest cop to civilian ratio, and being pretty rural, we don't experience the crime rates that many big cities face. Number two, Vermont in recent years has been rated the best state to live in in America, as well as the number one best state to have a baby. This was based off of the quality of life, affordable housing, education quality, cost of living, healthcare, jobs, and environment. Number three, Vermont has been ranked the number one healthiest state to live in. This is likely because of the lack of air pollution and the high rates of physical activity in Vermont. In fact, Burlington, Vermont has been rated the fifth most active city in the whole US. Number four, moving out of the statistics, my favorite thing about Vermont is just how beautiful it is. Whether it's seeing the mountains on my daily drive to work or the cozy small towns to walk through, Vermont has beauty for everyone. Seeing the sun setting behind the mountains reflecting over Lake Champlain is an amazing sight. And at night, you can get an outstanding view of the bright stars as well. Number five, another reason Vermont is so loved is that Vermont is such a rural state and the air is always fresh. It is the second least populated state. You can live in the middle of Vermont's biggest cities yet be minutes away from fields and mountains where neighbors are few. Or if you like privacy and the thought of owning your own big yard or chunk of forest, you can buy a large plot of land and do whatever you want with it. There are so many things you can do in your spare time, including kayaking, going four-wheeling, snowmobiling, fishing, hunting, and whatever else on the privacy of your own land. And once you become a Vermonter, you'll be able to show kids the process of making maple syrup from the trees in your own backyard. Number six, although most of Vermont is quite rural, it's not super far from major cities. Boston is only about a three and a half hour drive, Syracuse is four and a half, New York is five and a half, and Montreal is only an hour and 45 minutes. So if you wanna take a weekend getaway to Canada, you won't have to drive far to do so. Number seven, one of the things Vermont is most well known for is its beautiful fall foliage. In the fall, the leaves turn vibrant shades of yellow, orange, red, and even pink before falling off. So for a few weeks, our already beautiful drives become especially beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, that people from other states come up just to drive around and take the dazzling pictures you've likely seen on Instagram. Hiking one of our mountains during the fall season is a must. While the views alone are worth the hike, the leaves really enhance the experience. Number eight, each winter, people from all around the world come to visit Vermont for its amazing winter sports. If you ski or snowboard, you'll love Vermont. We have some of the best ski resorts in the country where you can stay overnight or just go ski for a day. Even if you don't own any of your own gear, you can rent it, and ski lessons are also available if you don't want to learn the hard and fast way. Number nine, Vermont is a very environmentally friendly state, so much so that billboards are actually outlawed because we want our state's natural beauty to be maintained to the fullest degree. Also, because we don't have massive cities in Vermont, our air is very clean and we don't have smog like some other states. Another big thing in Vermont is that you will often see people cleaning up the ditches of our state to keep it well maintained. Number 10, Vermont is very community based and proud to be that way. If you like getting to know all the people around and seeing friends and neighbors while out shopping and doing other various things, then you will like the small towns of Vermont. Of course, not all of Vermont's towns are small enough to know everyone, but with some time and effort, you can easily get to know many of them. Number 11, one thing Vermont is very well known for is its large number of breweries. Although Vermont was recently put in second place by Maine, for many years, we used to have the most breweries per capita of any state. We have around one brewery for every 9,200 people. So if craft beer is your thing, we definitely have what you're looking for. 
Number 12. Topping the charts is the number one maple syrup producing state. We are very well known for our maple products including maple candy, maple cream, maple donuts, and even maple creamies. We also have farmers markets where fresh fruits and vegetables can be bought on the side of the road. What's popular in the fall is people like to go apple picking or berry picking at a local berry farm. And if you've heard of Cabot Cheese or Ben & Jerry's, then you might know that Vermont is also very well known for its dairy products. Finishing up number 13. Although Vermont is a landlocked state, Lake Champlain is truly a wonderfully massive lake, spanning from Vermont to New York to Quebec. In 1998, it was even signed as one of the Great Lakes for a whopping 18 days before being taken down. There are plenty of lakefront restaurants in Burlington where you can enjoy a delicious meal while watching the sunset beyond the Adirondack Mountains. And while kayaking, boating, and fishing are popular in the summer, ice fishing and skating are popular in the winter. That wraps up the 13 reasons. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see or to know about Vermont in the comments below. This is Jacob Barnes with EXP Realty, and I'll see you next time.